right. What are we doing here? <laughs> um, I wanted to have a look where you found the stained glass windows. Yeah. To see if we could find the missing pieces of glass. Yes. Um, they could be on there. Yeah, because it's, it's a little bit dark. Um, so I wasn't particularly looking for any broken glass. So mm. I can see a bit of debris and stuff. Yeah. So maybe there is some broken glass there. So, okay, yeah, let's have a look. That's a piece of glass, but whether it's out of that, I don't know. Um, there's a there's slate up here as well, so it's difficult to tell whether it's glass or not. So that's that's a shaped piece. Oh yeah, yeah. But I don't know if it's from that because there are some other bits of glass there. Okay. Well, we'll gather all that we've got. That's slate. There's a, a little square bit. Oh, what's that? That's quite a long piece. That's, That's glass though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know whether it's from it, but... You might be able to use it to fix it though. Yeah. Another piece. There's another piece. Okay, well that didn't take long. There's quite a few pieces of glass, but there's far too many for the stained glass piece, but one or two of them seem shaped, um, like that one's fairly shaped that you've just picked up, that one. Um, but there's no coloured glass. There's no coloured glass, sadly, and we're missing some. there's a blue bit missing out of there. And there's a little bit of the coloured out of the stained glass the gold, one. yeah. Um, but okay, we may, may have found some, or we may be able to use some of this glass. Um, okay, but no, no coloured glass, sadly. Mm. So what I have found up here, uh, we've seen this before. It's, there's two of these kind of crest things, um, but the paper has disappeared on one of them. It's got the fleur-de-lis and a dagger or a sword and a crown. Um, it's obviously upside down. But, disintegrated. Uh, I don't know what would have been at the bottom of the spider's webs. Can't see. Is it too heavy? No, it's okay. okay. So this, this is the way it would have gone. I'm wondering if that was some Roman numerals. Uh, but it's pretty fragile. Yeah. But there, there are two of them, but there's nothing on the other one. It's probably disintegrated. And the other thing that's on here... Is this... this it's made of wood. Looks like a date on the top there. I can't really tell. No, I can't get in close mm. enough. And they just put some metal on the end, so... That's... that's some metal. So this could have been from the crypt that we think these belong to. Quite possible. Apologies for the glare here. This is my idea for the stained glass windows. 
um, but we need to get an idea of the size and they're a bit smaller than I thought. I thought they'd look nice in here with the sun shining through so that people can actually see them. And we have two, so we have a window at this end of the attic and one right at the other end. And I think the one at the other end's a bit smaller than this one actually. But we'll, we'll hold them up and have a look. Okay, and of course the sun uh, rises over in that direction yeah. through that window. And that, so. as, as you drive into the village you can actually see this gable end, can't you? You can, yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, shall I hold that up then? Yeah. And we'll see oh. how, because we haven't measured it. I'll move that out of the way. Okay. So your thought is put it in there? Yeah, but we'd it's have bit, to yeah. <laughs> fill around the outside of it somehow. Well, I could I make a know. frame for it. That wouldn't be a problem. And this metal frame could um, stay inside it. Yeah, I don't... Uh, it's just how you bridge the gap up below and above. I don't want to lose too much light, that's a problem. Well, I could, we could put some plain glass above and below. Yeah. Um, or if you wanted to get fancy, you could um, try and get some coloured glass and do something. Mm. Or just plain glass and that would let that shine, really. Yeah. Yeah, I think the light shining through it is lovely. Yeah, okay. Well, we've got two open windows that we haven't got any glass in, mm. and we've got two glasses in a frame. Yeah. So if we can somehow marry them up, it might be quite nice, but... It's how we do it. It's how we do it, really, that doesn't look silly. Because mm. if you're not careful, if you just put a big th piece of wood below and above, or, or stone, mm. it, stone would probably look better. If you yeah, want to but fill I it. I don't want to make it any but, smaller. But then it or makes the window too small. But anyway, there's there's a thought. Yeah. It would be nice to use them somehow. Yeah, I, I want them to be seen. Okay. Okay, so we've brought you to the other end of the attic, and again, sorry for the glare, uh, but this window is a lot smaller. And actually, it looks by hook or by crook. Slightly, you'd have to fill the sides a bit. Yeah, but that would actually work. Yeah. That would go in there. Hmm. Now I've seen this up here before, but it didn't cross my mind what it could possibly be for. Um, it's metal, so I'm thinking it goes on the crick door. Yeah, that looks to be the right size, right shape. Because it probably had an opening window. It would have had glass, and I've often yeah. wondered where that would have gone. I, I didn't realise we had that up here. We need to look um, on I've the, forgotten about that. We need to look on the door and see if it's got these hinges on that it could fit onto. Yeah. Yeah, that is, isn't it? Mm. Oh, that's interesting. That's been up here all this time. Okay, well I need to take that downstairs and check it. Mm, or is it safer left up here? Well, shall we have a look on there and see if it's got the hinges yeah. on there that it fits onto? Okay, because I don't like to move it all around. No. It's safer up here actually in the meantime. Okay, well I might get the tape measure and measure it. Mm. Well, for the time it's going to take, I thought I would uh, get the crypt door out of the barn. It's been tucked away out of harm's way. Uh, but I want to check that glass actually, I'm really inquisitive and uh, I can already see two hinges in here. This is the front obviously, the glass would go in behind. Uh, that's the perfect shape and I think the crosses on that glass probably correspond so they're behind here. So I'm going to go and have a quick look up in the bar, up in the attic and uh, bring that glass down if it's not too fragile. It's quite light actually, the glass and the frame. I was a bit worried it might be a bit, you know, so I don't like moving this stuff around too much. Anyway, I'll turn the door around. And 
let's have a look. So we've got the two hinges, we've got a latch, um, and it would go on this way, wouldn't it? a little bit warped so probably need to put some WD-40 on the hinges so we're a little bit I don't want to force it but anyway that is definitely the piece of glass yeah from this so I'd forgotten we had that what, what does it look like from the other side um, can you turn it around or? yeah let me, um, let me see if I can I don't want to force anything. Can you just turn the door around on? Yeah, it's really heavy, that's the problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so these crosses, the cross pieces, apart from that, yeah. bit, they're hidden behind this cross. Mm. And obviously it's dirty. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> well, it, it didn't cross my mind that it belonged to that because they don't seem to keep everything all together. It's a bit no. here and a bit there. So there you go. Always worth an extra look in the attic. Who knows what else we'll find. No. Oh, well, that's the result. So we're thinking that those other two frames pieces may have gone either side, gone either side but there's no corresponding holes. But this isn't the frame, is it? It, it could have gone on the side of the crypt. Yeah. Now, Going back to that original film where we first showed this, I showed this in the greenhouse entrance. And I'm wondering if when we build that greenhouse, we could put two stained pieces either side mm. as an extra thought. I'm not going to lug it all the way over to the greenhouse <laughs> now because uh, it's a bit heavy. And... Oh. <laughs> Every time I go into that attic, it's the dustiest place on earth. Yeah, we need um, some vacuum cleaner, industrial one to clean it all up. We do. That's, that'll be a nice job for you. I don't mind doing that. No, you don't, do you? Um, so. Yeah, you're covered. Yeah. I, I am as well, actually. <sighs> right, it's a bit of a shorter one um, today, I'm afraid, but... Um, interesting nonetheless uh, we've had a couple of days where we've been doing work. a lot of non chateau things and medical stuff and all sorts of bits and we haven't had time to get anything done and I guess that's one of the downsides with filming and putting a vlog out every three or four days you get suddenly a couple of days you can't get anything done anyway anyway um, a big hello and welcome to Roz and Rebecca who became patrons this week so thank you very much welcome aboard and thank you to Karen for buying us a coffee. Yes, thank you, Karen. Kind of you. And thank you for everybody for watching, and thank you to our other patrons as well. And we're off now to do a bit of filming yeah. for patrons. So, which you will see at some point tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. The day after. And so uh, we shall see you for a full-length vlog on Whenever. Sunday, Monday. So, thank you. Bye. Bye.